and the most important workout tip to help you gain weight is how can you gain weight? Hey guys, what's going on? Abdul Houthi right here, aka Atifit, and today I'm gonna to be sharing really, really realistic, important tips to help you gain weight. In the first section of this video, we're gonna be talking about nutrition tips, and in the second section of this video, we're gonna be talking about workout tips to help you gain weight, get stronger, and build muscle, whether you were a guy or a girl. Okay, let's start off with nutrition. The first step is drinking your calorie. Now, what does drinking your calories really mean? Basically, instead of eating your food in the form of plates, you drink your food. So, you get to make smoothies, you get to make shakes, and you drink them. And by doing that, you're giving your digestive system and your body a much easier time to process and digest this food faster. And also, what happens is that you get to eat more food during the day. Therefore, you are increasing your daily caloric intake. Now, if you are interested in knowing some recipes and smoothies and stuff like that, please let me know. I will be glad to make more videos explaining how can you make smoothies and shakes to help you gain weight. So comment down below and let me know. The second tip is not eating a lot of fat during the day. Now, I think most of you know that fat actually has a lot more calories than the sources of carbohydrates or protein. But the problem with fat is that it takes a lot of time to digest, to get processed by your body, and it also makes you full for a long amount of time. So instead of being able to eat four or five or six meals during the day, you're gonna be eating one or two meals and be full instantly. So my advice to you is to keep the fat sources at night before going to bed. Why? Because fat is also a slow source of energy. So when you take it before going to bed, you're giving your digestive system something to keep working on while you are sleeping. And when you avoid the sources of fats during the day, what happens is that you can eat more calories during the day, more meals, therefore you are increasing the probability of you gaining weight. I actually tried this method a lot with my clients and it really, really works for them. By the way, if you're interested in letting me create a plan for you that will guarantee that you gain weight, make sure to check out my website. I will have it linked in the description box down below. Tip number three, eat what works for your body and what you actually prefer. Now, a lot of people, when they come to me for advice, I noticed that they always have a pattern. They always have this kind of misconception that they always need to eat this kind of food to be able to gain weight and they need to eat this kind of food to be able to lose fat, which is actually not true. You need to understand what works for your body. For example, if you're a person who cannot process milk or doesn't like milk, you don't need to drink a lot of milk for you to gain weight. There are a lot of better, healthier options for you that you can rely on. Another example, if you are lactose intolerant, and you drink a lot of milk because you wanna up your calorie intake, but what happens is that you start having digestive problems and instead of eating five or six meals that are helpful for your digestive system, you're eating two or one meal a day. So focus on the food that actually work for you. And when I personally create plans for my clients, I always ask them what kind of food works for them in the questionnaire. Feel free to check out my website down below if you want me to create a plan for you. Tip number four is to actually rely on weight gaining shakes or mass gainers, which actually correlates to the first tip that I gave you. Now I noticed that a lot of fitness experts actually frown upon using mass gainers or weight gainers, but I personally think it's helpful because you have access to high calories that you can actually drink and it's very easy to prepare and that actually correlates with the first tip that I gave you, which means drinking your calories, which means that it's easier to digest. Now you can have better substitutes, more natural things that you can make at home, provided you have the time to do it. And as I mentioned, if you are interested in me creating some of these shakes and recipes that will help you gain weight, please let me know in the comments down below. But if you don't have time, then I really recommend you to rely on these shakes. Use them once, twice a day. If you have a deficit of 500 calories, substitute the 500 calories from these shakes. Okay, that was it for the nutrition tips. Now let's move on to the workout tips. The first workout tip is to do compound exercises. Now compound exercises are very important exercises to build strength and help you gain muscle and gain weight in general. 
compound exercises such as squats, deadlifting, such as bench pressing. If you do these exercises twice a week with the proper nutrition plan, I will guarantee you that you will be able to gain weight. The second tip is to train each body part twice, especially the weak muscles that you have in your body. Whether you were a guy or a girl, you need to have muscle to be stronger, you need to have muscle to be able to perform properly during the day in your daily chores, you need muscle to look good. So it doesn't hurt with the process of gaining weight to gain muscle and actually it's much much better to gain muscle in the process. The third and the most important workout tip to help you gain weight is not overtraining. Overtraining is a big, 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 actually the biggest problem that I face with my clients. Most people, they come to me, they always tell me that we train for three hours in the gym, we go hard and we don't see any results. I say, whoa, 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 whoa. You train for how long? Um, three hours. This is your problem, dude. If you wanna gain weight, you need to have to consume more calories than what you spend. And if you consume less calories than what you spend because you are overtraining, therefore you are burning more calories than what you are consuming and eating, therefore you're not going to be able to gain weight. It's as simple as that. Guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. If it wasn't, please let me know in the comments below because I always want to constantly improve my content and make it much better. And if this was helpful for you, make sure to give it a thumbs up so that YouTube can show it to more people and also make sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on the notifications. And until we meet again in a new video, remember to stay fit and peace out.